So let's start by looking at the traditional diet and what we can learn from individuals that are eating locally seasonal fruits and vegetables. Now there are differences in geographic regions of course and traditional diets change depending on location and region of different countries. But we can learn a lot from individuals who have researched this because we know that doctors, for example, who have worked in hospitals in the West and they may move out to some of these remote geographical regions where they don't have access to highly processed, um, highly preserved foods. They're only able to eat a traditional diet because that's all available. To, that's all that's available to them. So essentially, what the doctors report is that they don't see the same diseases and disorders in these remote areas where they're following a traditional diet, which leads us to think: well, naturally, it has to be related to diet. They're not suffering with the diseases that we see in the West, like cancer, diabetes, for example. So that's the first thing that we can take from individuals that are following a traditional diet that they don't present with the same illnesses. Now that brings us to the next question that we ask and that is that well is it genetics? Is it a genetic influence that means that that person isn't likely to develop cancer or diabetes? Well no because we can also learn from twin studies or sibling studies whereby you look at a brother that stayed living in a remote region whereby he can only access locally grown food and the other brother that's gone into the west and is consuming highly processed and packaged preserved foods. We know that the brother that's moved away is much more likely to develop the diseases and disorders of the West, like the cancers, the diabetes, cardiovascular disease. So that draws us to a very clear conclusion that actually it has to be diet related. Now what we also learn from studying population groups that follow a very basic um, regional diet is that they don't have PhDs in nutrition, um, they don't have qualifications in nutrition, they intuitively are eating the food that grows around them. So eating food that is locally grown and seasonal um, by instinct, not by qualification, leads to a better health outcome. These people that are consuming um, foods that are seasonal, higher in fruits and vegetables, minimally prepared, no, pro no processing at all, we know that the diet has got much more nutrients, they're eating much more intuitively, which confers a much better health outcome. So if we can unpick all of that information, what we can conclude is that traditional diets are minimally processed. You know, there is no access usually to a kind of Western processed foods. They're high in fiber, high in vitamins and minerals, and of course, high in phytonutrients, which is what our fruit and vegetable kingdom provides. So the influence from the West you know, is when all the problems start to arise. So let's have a look at the different regions and how they uh, preferentially like to eat. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe below so you don't miss any future content. To learn more about CNM or its courses, head to www.naturopathy-uk.com.